What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have two Figure Arts Zeros. These are the ones of Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune. And while they are sold separately, they come as a pair and you can stick them together. Now these had a very, very uh, negative announcement. When they first came out, they looked absolutely gorgeous, but when people started getting their actual purchases in the mail uh, from Japan, they noticed that there were some issues. There were some paint issues, there were some quality problems with the two figures. One of them came without a base so that she could actually be paired with her partner. So there were some problems when these first came out and I'm a little nervous about opening these because I did get my shipment super early on. So I'm worried that they also have some of those quality control problems with like the paint or hopefully nothing's missing, we'll see. I feel like they may have fixed some of those in uh, some later runs of these figures that were fixed because I didn't hear any issues about them later on. It was just like the first couple of weeks that these were coming out and people were just like, these are a disgrace because you're spending $80, $90 each, each, not together. Both of these were like eight or 90 bucks. So you're spending quite a bit of money and you expect a quality purchase, a quality figure. So I'm nervous, but I'm going to open them anyway. And hopefully they came out just fine and I have nothing to worry about. Hopefully I got lucky, but we're going to take a look. You're going to take a look with me and uh, wish me luck. So this is the first time I'm seeing these. They do come in their tissue packaging. So I have not seen either of these. Hopefully I get a nice surprise. All right. So another thing that people did not like about these two figures is that you had to purchase Sailor Uranus to get Sailor Neptune's extra arm, which is really weird. So they basically make you purchase the pair in order to get one of the accessories that goes with the Sailor Neptune figure. Uh, which I was not happy about and neither were a lot of other people even though I was fully in intending to purchase both of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the casing for these because it is very pretty. First off we have Sailor Uranus over here. There's a silhouette of her on the front and it also says Figure Arts Zero Short at the bottom as well as the 25th anniversary logo. And there's a toy animation sticker up at the top as well as Tamashi Nation's quality, which I don't know if that's ironic or hilarious. Uh, it also says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, and there's also a window at the top with Sailor Uranus's emblem as well. The back has the prototype photos that they were showing off when these were first announced. So hopefully mine look like that and not some of the pictures I saw on Instagram. The Sailor Neptune one is upside down. <laughs> the Sailor Neptune one has a very, very similar packaging, same stickers, same placement. Same silhouette on the front, except she has her Sailor Neptune silhouette and she also has her emblem at the top too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and crack these open. Uh, hopefully it's a good thing. Or we're gonna see. I'm gonna crack them open from the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and open both of them before I give them close looks. So, so far what I've seen from Neptune is she looks pretty good, but I'm gonna get Sailor Uranus out before I actually judge them close up. Also, it looks like Sailor Uranus is the only one that comes with any accessories. Neptune doesn't seem to have any additional accessories except for a silver ring that's supposed to go around both her and Uranus' stands. I'm confused as to why she has two bows, Sailor Uranus. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at Sailor Uranus and then I will take a look at Sailor Neptune. So from the bottom to the top, she does have a really pretty iridescent gem on the, I don't know, water or whatever, the wind that's shooting up from the bottom, uh, which is pretty nice. There's a couple of iridescent gems, actually. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, I do like those. I think it looks really pretty in person. Her stand is a little bit wiggly. I'm not sure. Oh, is it supposed to like slide off? Oh, I guess it's supposed to slide off. Maybe that's so you can actually put her next to Sailor Neptune. But it looks like if you just want to have Sailor Uranus on her own stand, you can use this and then you plop her right on there. And it looks like she goes, there's two little holes. Well, no, I'm not, re I'm not really sure where she's supposed to go on here. Okay, I'm just gonna like plop her on there like that so she doesn't go anywhere. All right, as far as her paint goes, her legs look fine, her shoes look fine. They look really cool actually. Really pretty iridescent painting there. 
Also, her skirt and her bow and her fuku all look really, really good. No issues there. There's a little bit of a mark on her nose. Hopefully I can get that off. It's not a big deal though. Um, you can see where the mold line is in her hair. They didn't do a very good job with that. The mold line for her hair is like right next to where it should be, uh, which is a bit disappointing, but it's not a serious issue. Her hair doesn't look as goopy as I thought it would look, and her hands look really good. There's a little bit of a black mark on her back hand, but if she's facing you, you can't see it, which is good. Okay, so far so good. No big issues here. Let's check out Sailor Neptune. Oh, I should mention as well, Sailor Uranus comes with an additional bow for her fuku. I'm assuming that's because when you take off her arm and put on the other arm, she's not covering it up in the same way, so the mold is a little bit different, so you have a second bow. Uh, and then Sailor Uranus and Neptune, if you purchase both of them, you can pair them together and they can hold hands, which is really, really sweet and adorable. So I will likely change out their hands and put these ones on instead. So you get both of their hands in the Sailor Uranus packaging. So then we have Sailor Uranus. So Sailor Uranus has two parts to her stand. There's the bottom part, which is more of a teal color, and then she connects about like a third of the way up to the rest of the water that's shooting out behind her. There is like a little gemstone up here at the top, which does look like a wolf. Thank you so much, Ochiba Wolf, for mentioning that because it totally looks like a wolf, which is so weird. I can't get that out of my head now. Uh, there's a few other little gemstones on her, but overall her face looks really good. I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah, her face looks fine. No serious flaws. There's a little mark on her hair, but it's not a serious flaw. Overall, she's looking pretty good. Oh, there is quite a bit of paint on her feet though. There's quite a bit of the teal paint from her shoes kind of around her feet, which is, uh, it just looks like they did a shoddy job of painting her. But otherwise, she looks really, really good. So there's not a bit, bunch of big issues with her either. So this is what her stand looks like. And it appears that, I'm gonna try to figure out how to put these two together because I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with them. Okay, so that was annoying, but I got them mostly on there, although they are just balancing together as opposed to actually sitting on one of the pegs, which I'm assuming are there in a certain pattern to ensure that both of them stay there and are pretty steady. But they're balancing and they look good together, so that's fine. Uh, I did put them in the formation so that they are basically holding hands, and I switched out Sailor Uranus's bows to give you an idea of what it looks like when you uh, change them up. But I'm pretty impressed with them. They look really good. They look way better than I thought they were going to look. And I think that in order to really get the nice appeal from the two different figures, you do have to get both of them, unfortunately, which means you're gonna spend a lot of money on the two. But they look so good together and they're really nice and big. I love the Figure Art Zero Showette line because you always get these really nice figures and they all look so beautiful. Uh, however, I also think that, what is it, E2046 or 3046? I think that they do a very good job as well with their figures, even though they aren't licensed. So these licensed figures look really Really good. Um, I do think they could have done a little bit better of a job with the paint quality because there are some paint flaws on here and for an $80 figure I would expect better quality. Overall they do look very very fabulous so I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I'm curious if anybody else out there purchased the Uranus and Neptune figures and if you had any issues with paint flaws or anything like that. Let me know down in the comments and if you're still looking for these two they're probably available online. I will put their links down below if I can find them as well as their current purchase prices too. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Jenny.